moving on to the next question question 24 a student has to opt for two subjects out of five subjects for a course namely commerce economics statistics mathematics 1 and mathematics 2 Mathematics 2 can be offered only if Mathematics 1 is also opted. The number of different combinations of two subjects which can be opted is. So, this is a question which where we can use the combination, the formula for combination to find the answer. So we need to choose five subjects, uh, sorry, two subjects from five subjects. So, five, uh, uh, that is classic case, 5C2. To apply phi c2 so phi c2 which can be founded out by phi into 4 and 2 into 1 uh, so 2 we had we have 10 uh, so 10 uh, we have told uh, 10 to total cases but it is there is a restriction so it is said that mathematics 2 can be opted only if mathematics 1 is opted. So we have counted some cases that are invalid. Which all cases? Say one subject is math 2. So we have counted some cases where uh, we have included math 2 and commerce, economics and statistics. So we have three papers except for the math. Uh, if you are not including math 1. Uh, the only accepted combination with math 2 is math 1 and math 2. So math 2 and all other three subjects are invalid cases. So these three cases are invalid cases in this 10 cases. So we have to subtract this 3 from this. So we get 7. Uh, so we 7 is the correct answer. Option C is the correct answer. So again uh, we have used the concept of combinations. Selecting uh, uh, two subjects out of five subjects we use phi c2 selecting r objects from n n items we use the ncr combination so uh, again ncr uh, formula for ncr is n factorial by n minus r factorial by r factorial uh, one easy method is if you are not familiar if say we have 10 c3 what we could do is write 10, 9, 8. So what is 3? Uh, write 3 numbers here. 10 into 9 into 8. If it was 10 C4, write se into 7 also. And by 3, if it is 3 here, we write 3 into 2 into 1. So this will be 10 C3. So effectively, uh, what what is happening here is when we apply the formula 10 factorial by 10 minus 3, 7 factorial by 3 factorial. Uh, this 7 into 6 into this, this term get cancelled with 7 factorial. That is why this is not there. So, that uh, I use this here. Uh, that is 5 into 4 by 2 into 1. That is how this, this was formed. I know any, anyone who have learned uh, combinations and permutations and is currently and is in touch with the concept will find this very easy and simple but people who are not familiar with the co co combination permutation concepts will find this very difficult so that's why i explained uh, in the last question also i explained some somewhat how this ncr formula comes so again if you want me to do a video on combinations and permutations do comment i'll try to do it okay so solution to question 24 is c7